Hi guys, how are you doing? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression slash deck review of a deck that I ordered recently. I've been very, very excited to get this deck. When I heard uh, that the creator, the artist had done it, I was just really just couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So I finally ordered it and it came yesterday. It is the Rock and Roll Tarot deck by Vicki Verley, the Rock and Roll Prophetess who I have to say is my favorite tarot reader on YouTube. I just I just adore Vicki Verley. I think she's an amazing artist. She's an amazing reader. Um, I just love her, and I love her work, and couldn't wait to get my hands on this. So let's take a look at it. It is a tarot deck, of course, and here's what the front of the cards looks like, and here's what the back of the cards looks like. Gorgeous. <coughs> This is a beautiful, vibrant, colorful deck, and it's very psychedelic looking, very rock and roll, very 60s, you know, rock and roll, which is one of the reasons I love it. So let's go through some of these cards. I don't know if I'll show you all of them, but uh, let's start going through the Major Arcana. There is the Fool. One of the things that is wonderful about this deck is that it's amazing for beginners because she has put keywords on all of the cards here. And they're they're just amazing. They're really, really great. And you'll connect with the cards instantly. Uh, so some of them she's got here for the Fool are Venture. Uh, I'm reading Innocent. Uh, hope, uh, what is it? Hopeful? Fool. Faith. Open. Pure. Sorry, I'm reading this backwards, so it's kind of hard to uh, read here. Here's the Magician. And for him we have Ambition. That's one of the key words. Beautiful. So she's taken the Rider Waite images, portions of the Rider Waite images, and then surrounded them with keywords, which I think is just great. Very, very colorful. And here's the High Priestess. Here's the Empress. Fertility, Mother. Beautiful, harvest, perfect. <clears throat> Here's the emperor, authority, patriarch. This is an amazing deck. I highly encourage everybody, especially beginners, to get this because if you're just starting out with tarot, just learning the meanings of all the cards. You've got everything right here in front of you, you know. And if you've already been reading for a while, it's just that much easier to read. You know, with this in front of you. Here's the Hierophant. Here's the Lovers. I'll show you all the major arcana and then some of the, uh, the pips. <clears throat> Chariot. Evolution. I love that. Rise. I love that too. Achievement. Here's strength, patience, fortitude, calm. I'm going to be using this deck for our weekly draw this week. Here's the hermit, withdraw, reflection. Wheel of Fortune, destiny, windfall. Here's Justice. Hangman. Death. Transform, release, done, definitely. Temperance. Devil, the tower, <clears throat> star, the moon, the sun.
is judgment. And finally, the world. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go through some of the wants. Here's the Ace of Wands. And she's got all uh, specific kind of colors for each one of the suits. So the wands are a fiery suit. So she's got this yellow, yellow orange tinge to the card. So you can recognize uh, them immediately by the color. So there's the ace. Here's the two. There's the three. And let me show you the court cards. So here's the page. Here's the knight. Here is the queen of wands. She actually calls them rods in this deck. And the king of rods. Okay, so now we move on to the cups, which is kind of bluish rainbow rain, rainbowy looking and here's the ace love it <clears throat> here's the two beautiful soulmates here's the three and here's the four And then again, let me show you the court cards. Here's the page. Here's the knight. Queen. And the king. Okay, so next we have the swords, and they are kind of like a, a grayish blue, light yellow color. Here's the ace. Two. Three. Here's the four. And again, I will show you the court cards. Page. Knight. Queen. And king. And then last but not least, we have the pentacles, which are kind of a brownish, earthy color, obviously, because pentacles are earth. So here's the ace. Here's the two. Three. Four. And once again, I will show you the courts so here's the page here is the knight here is the queen and finally here's the king so I can tell you at first glance, I just, I'm in love with these cards. I cannot wait to read with them, which is why I'm going to do uh, my weekly reading with them this week. So my first reading with the cards will be with you guys. And yeah, they just, they're so much fun. They just, they're just, they're so vibrant and they're just bursting with all these different colors. And I know she said that when you look at the, uh, when you look at the keywords, you know, um, uh, just allow yourself to kind of look at them and maybe you'll focus on a particular letter or maybe even another word will come to you or something like that. They're very, um, they're just very flowy feeling and just very, um, I don't know, just very welcoming. They have a very welcoming feel. They have a very, very, uh, just come on and explore type of feel to them, which I love. So I cannot wait to work with them. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this first glance at the Rock and Roll Tarot. I would highly encourage all of you to go out and grab it, especially those of you that are beginners, uh, because this deck is, I'm sure this is going to become one of my favorites, I have no doubt. So again, I hope you enjoy this look at the Rock and Roll Tarot, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.